folks in the house how's everybody doing just doing a basically a, a movie catch-up uh, video tonight nothing anything extra that's in the, off the wall or anything like that hope everybody's doing great out there and uh, finally maybe some springs coming our way um, kind of counting the days for it um, but uh, gotten a serious a lot of rain so uh, dry out from that hopefully in the next couple days and can't believe uh, Easter is just around the corner um, I guess my is uh, last weekend just to give some talk about is I went grocery shopping for my folks and so I'm at uh, Piggly Wiggly and they have um, spend thirty dollars and get a, a ham shake for uh, 79 cents a pound so I come home with a seven pound ham for, for myself. So I'm cooking a ham on Sunday. And really, I ended up giving my folks some, my aunt and uncle, uh, a neighbor. I kind of said, yeah, I think I've given it. And I, I'm still, I'm finishing up, uh, but uh, it's intriguing. Um, I used the ham on, uh, I got a cheese pizza and it, it ended up working out good putting the ham on there. And then uh, tonight I had some uh, bean ham soup where you get the, there's no ham in it. And uh, work it out that it's like, okay, this is how bean ham soup should work. So it was kind of interesting uh, using the different ways of uh, using a seven pound ham, trying to get the most out of it. Um, that was the first time I ever did uh, a ham that big. Um, basically, you know, it's just me and my folks for the most part. Um, so, but for the price, I was like, I already got the $30 of groceries, so why not get uh, a ham for 79 cents a pound and give people some uh, some to enjoy. And uh, I used a, a base of pineapple juice. Oh, my word. Um, brown sugar and uh, lemon-lime soda. Um, came across it, and I thought, why not? really didn't affect it uh, so I don't know if I didn't do it that first time I ever tried it so I may need to try it again didn't really do anything extra for the ham I didn't think um, but uh, again brown sugar pineapple juice and lemon lime soda yeah, I'm looking for something different for I guess preparing a ham um, uh, thanks everybody that's watched. I appreciate that. I probably don't say that enough to everybody. People leaving comments, brother-in-law, Derek, Jeff, uh, Mike Loomis, uh, Pat. Uh, I know I'm I'm missing somebody that's uh, made comments, and I just uh, forgetting who it is. So I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, it's uh, just a little talk here and. Uh, Trying to get keep up with my videos, which are starting to kind of get uh, in control, and it's going to come down to probably trying to figure out things to do uh, for my videos down the road. Um, so, three movies I have is one's kind of a a, a lawyer a movie called Legal Action, two thousand eighteen, five point nine. Uh, A woman decides to hire her ex-husband, who's a successful lawyer, to defend her brother in a small Texas town. Uh, and uh, how the law works in a small town. Um, it got a 5.9. Decent story, it works. And to be honest, I almost felt like this was kind of a, a movie to see if it was going to become a TV show. It just has that kind of feel to it, like a, a mad lock or something like that. And I was like, you know what, uh, why not? But I don't think it, it did succeed, but it just had that feel uh, how it ended. Um, that it was like, yeah, this could be something that could come out uh, um, to a TV show. Next one, um, this one's going to be a little interesting to talk about. Uh, action movie, uh, just shoot them up. Over the top kind of thing a little bit, uh, some craziness. Uh, Escape from Death Block 13. 
And the thing about this movie is there's an actor called Robert Runzai. This guy has the Charles Bronson look. And how I, lo I looked up some of his movies, and they almost seem like there's some that are like movies Charles Bronson did. Um, just looking at the previews. But this guy, I mean, you could say if you watch the movie, it's like, God, this guy's got, uh, you know, is a relative of Charles Bronson in some way. And then, like I say, I went and looked at his movies, and I kind of was, I, I should have gotten a list of them, but there were just movies and how the the storyline, it was like, boy, this seems like Charles Bronson did something like that. And I want to say there's like about four or five like that. So the guy has the Charles Bronson and I think he's running with it a little bit uh, for his uh, his career. And it's like, hey, you know, if you want to do it, go for it if it's there. Uh, next one is a subtitled movie called The Quake. This uh, got a 6.2. I'm bringing it down. And this could have been this three fourths of this movie is a blockbuster catastrophe movie. But the last fourth of the movie, I just I, I, I'm leaning towards they ran out of budget. Just how the movie wrapped up on how that first three fourths of the movie went. The last part, I just was disappointed with it. Uh, how over the top this movie went with the quake and at the end how it wrapped up I, I was like what the hell I mean it just felt like I, I it was like we have to wrap this movie up and be done with it and I just was like yeah out of Norway um a subtitled movie and trying to get in a couple more I do have uh, another one down the road that I'll be talking about that ended up being pretty damn good but these are my three movies for today um so that's my talk, and uh, enjoy the videos. They're out there. Um, I appreciate everybody that has watched the, the videos over the time, uh, going over five years now. And uh, I don't know. It's just something that I, I continue to do, but uh, topics like in the kitchen. I'm not sure what I could do with the kitchen uh, down the road. Um, I kind of wish I knew how to do do some editing, I guess, like a before and after. Uh, I've done that a little bit, but uh, just uh, got to try to start thinking some other things to talk about. Uh, the movie talks there, that's always going to be there unless, you know, like, it's like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> so everybody have a good one. Thanks again. And uh, getting caught up with the movies.